The first thing I want you to take away from today is this. You will have good days and you'll have bad days, but you will always learn something more or something new and you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. You will learn more about yourself, you'll learn more about relationships, you'll learn about life and principles and it'll build your character. If you're a person who wants, let's say, improve on your character of patience, let's say, don't complain when you're waiting in a line. You ain't going to grow in patience until you're put in a place to wait. I stand before you without arms and legs but a very strong man because of the bad days of my life. You know how it is. If you didn't go what you've gone through, you wouldn't be who you are today. And I'm not belittling your pain, and don't worry, I've seen pain in my life, and I've seen not only in my life, but people's lives, and people say, well, at least I have no arms, no legs, and then what am I supposed to say? Well, at least I'm not an African orphan who's dying at four years old, and I met that person. You may have arms and legs, but unless you know three things. Number one, who are you and what your value is? Number two, what is your purpose here in life? And number three, what is your destiny when you're done here? If you don't know the answers of any of those three questions, you're more disabled than I. I think the biggest disability that we have as human beings is unbelief. Everything starts with a vision and a man without vision dies. There, there are some times where you're going to wish that you could rewind and, and do things all over again. There are times where, where you just wish you could forget memories and you try to drown those memories in alcohol or different pleasures and maybe get distracted by the goals and ambitions of your life and try to put the past behind and move forward. We're all human beings. We're all looking for hope. Hope you can't just have just because you were born with hope. No, we're born with pain. We're born and live through difficulty. And in our life, my parents always taught me that even though we don't know why I was born this way, that we have a choice. Either to be angry for what we don't have or be thankful for what we do have. The power of that choice was the first thing that I had to overcome and decide for myself. Think of the three biggest discouragers in your life. They're not your biggest discouragers. You are. It only takes three seconds for me to tell you something discouraging, but then you may never forget my words. I've met so many 50-year-old women and 40-year-old women who still remember what their fathers told them they wish they never heard. Words are powerful. When you hear those words, and then your mind starts growing with these lies. Nick, you're not good enough. Nick, just give up. Nick, you're never gonna get a job. At age eight, I thought that I should commit suicide. Why? I didn't have hope. I thought I didn't have hope. Today you can see that I had hope. And I know that every day my choices will affect this life, other people's life, and my eternal life. You gotta come to the truth of knowing who you are and why you're here. We have the heart of people to love others. We want people to love each other, love yourself, dream big, and never give up. We're all looking for hope, aren't we? What are you looking for? Money, drugs, sex, alcohol, pornography, fame, fortune. Never satisfied. It's never enough. But I've come to a peace. When I'm 24 years old, five, six years ago, I was in California and I never met anybody else like me. When I was 10 years old, I wish I would have met somebody like me. Never did, didn't get that miracle. But at 24, in California, I saw a little boy with no arms and no legs, 19 months old, just like me. I knew he was gonna be bullied. I knew he was gonna go through depression. I knew he would feel alone. I knew that he would get worried if he's ever gonna have a girlfriend and so on and so on. I got the father to bring him up on stage in front of 2,000 people and everyone was crying. And it was a materialization of when you don't get a miracle, you can be a miracle for someone else. I am not a superhero. I go through ups and downs. So do you, but take one day at a time. And if you haven't found that peace of knowing who you are and why you're here and where you're going when you're not here, for me, I want you to know that's how I've overcome. But I hope you are inspired to know that if I can dream big, then so can you. There are no walls. Find your peace and you'll make your walls doors.